Today we're going to be taking a look at the Command Surface Mount RV Interior Light with Switch, part number 328-001-902XPW. This Command Dome Light is going to serve as an inexpensive replacement for your RV, camper, or enclosed trailer. Or you can use it when installing new lighting. It's an incandescent light with a rocker switch for easy on and off. Its overall dimensions are 11 and 3 eighths of an inch long, four and three quarters of an inch wide, and an inch and three quarters of an inch deep. The white housing is gonna match your RV's interior. The polycarbonate lenses have a textured finish to help distribute the light. Now that we got all the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. My light has gone bad. I've checked, it's not the bulbs, so we're just gonna be replacing it. So before you get started, it's a good idea to make sure you turn off the power, that way you don't get shocked. Once you've done that, We'll start by removing the lenses. This is where we can access our hardware to take down our light. So we'll just pull it out. Yours might be different. You'll just need to be able to access the hardware. And then we can remove our hardware. We we'll wanna be sure and save it because our new light does not come with hardware. Then we can pull down our light and reveal our wiring. As you can see, we've got some wire nuts. This makes it super simple. We'll just be disconnecting those and hooking up our new light. It's a good idea to make sure that they don't touch. Here you can see our new light. It comes pre-stripped. All we need to do is connect our wires. So we can use our old wire nuts. Our black is our power wire. We'll connect that to our power wire. It's just as easy as lining the wires up and putting on the wire nut. Once you get it installed, it's a good idea to give it a good pull. Make sure that you've got it in there nice and tight. Then we can just repeat the same process with our white wire, which is our ground. Before we tuck our wiring back up, I've gone ahead and turned the power back on so we can do a test. Looks like everything's working great. We can turn it back off, tuck our wiring back up in there, and then mount our light to our ceiling. Now we can just remove our lenses. This is gonna reveal our mounting holes. I'm going to try to line it up as close as the other light was. And then I can reinsert my hardware. Now if you're using a screw gun, it's a good idea to use a low torque gun. That way you don't strip out the holes. Then we can put our lens caps back in place and turn it on. Cool. And that's going to complete our look at the Command Surface Mount RV Interior Light with Switch, part number 328-001-902XPW.